And now that the water pump housing and uh, fuel pump membranes, the diaphragms are checked and change it, it's time to check the carburetor. The float height is needed to adjust that the fuel doesn't run through. So let's take the carburetor out. Let's take the lower cup out. out. There may, may be some gasoline. So here is how the carburetor works. Fuel comes in here and there is a needle valve which moves when the float is floating on top of the fuel. And when it get, gets high enough, the fuel level, because the carburetor sits like this, if the fuel level comes high, the needle valve, valve shuts down the way to fuel to come in carburetor. And when, it, when the fuel is getting low, the float is dropping and the letting the fuel come in the carburetor. Manuel says that the height of the floater on the frame of the carburetor needs to be 14 millimeters plus minus one millimeter that it that it would work optimally. Let's check how that how this is I think it's higher than this that that means that the float there is less fuel on a carburetor when the needle valve shuts down no it's 12 milli, 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 millimeters so it's it should be more so that is the problem why my gas did flow through so the needle valve didn't close soon enough let's take the new measurement no, it, no, no it says 15 <laughs> There were some measuring problems which were due to the measurer, as it usually is. If you need to adjust the level, twist this part of the leg where the needle valve is attach it. Let's set the cauke go to 15 millimeters which is a top level. There is just a little bit air flowing through.
it's right there. When you have just the float level to 14 millimeters, when the fuel stops flowing or the air won't go through here, then just put the lower cup back on and uh, leave the emptying uh, screw on the same side as the fuel goes in. And then just put the bolts back on. So now it's just putting the carburetor back on to the engine. But first, before that, I want to check the thermostat, how it looks. Last spring we did open it up and clean it, but I want to see how it work, how it looks right now. This is fourth season that we have on at the Suzuki and every summer there is some problem. Usually it's fuel related problem. But let's see how that is at the season 2020. Huh? At the season 2022. The seal is in one one piece and everything is <laughs> falling apart. Let's see how the thermostat is here. Some skunk inside and the seal is broken off. Let's see if I can find a new, new o-ring. So there should be a rubber grommet around here on this edge, but there is none. So let's replace that with o-rings. Top side o-ring is too much. Do I have even a bigger o-ring? on the bottom. Let's go with this one. the carburetor back on. Suzuki BF4, ready to rock! In next episode we have some stress relating to Splash. Thank you for watching.